Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share to join the Couch Gang. Um, and today we're gonna be talking about the clutch delay valve delete. So um, I'm pretty sure Steve has a video on the channel with his Civic uh, doing the clutch, clutch delay valve delete on that car. Um, I did it on the Golf as well, and this is a guide for the Golf, um, and specifically the Golf R. I'm pretty sure I think the GTI is the same. A lot of the models are the same. A lot of cars are the same way to do it, but I just figured I'd do it on my car as well. And honestly, in my opinion, after doing this clutch delay valve delete, I can feel a slight change in engagement with the clutch. It might just be my, my head messing with me. But I think, I mean, I actually feel it, it's a lot better. Also, I did the short shifter at the same time. So maybe that, that kind of makes, you know, makes me feel different. So, I'm, you know, it feels like the car is different. But I think, I actually feel it, feel it in the clutch pedal. Like, I don't know, maybe it just feels like the clutch engage is better and quicker, especially when I'm, you know, running through the gears, you know, I'm trying to go fast. I really feel it engage right away when I shift. And also just, even just driving slowly, but it's really like, I think it's worthwhile to do this uh, clutch delay valve delete. It's super easy, especially when you have someone explaining it to you. I had to kind of piece a couple things together, um, but I kind of just run it through um, in this video. So it shouldn't be that bad. Um, so I'll get, let you guys get to it and um, I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, so basically to do the clutch delay valve delete, we have to uh, take this part out and um, pretty much go in there and take the uh, delay valve out. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this little cap. Um, you know, once you take your intake out and everything, you're gonna pull this little cap off of there. Um, we're gonna save it, we're gonna put it back later. And then um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna unclip these two. You just put a flathead under it and pull them up. Right now they're unclipped. And then uh, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to pull this to the left and kind of like disengage it by both sides. Um, take it out from both sides and uh, make sure that you have something to cap this side off um, I'm gonna just have Haley hold it for me and then um, or or you can buy some caps at a auto store I just couldn't find any today um, but I'll show you once I have that out and uh, so let's get to that and then uh, also make sure that you have a um, little brake bleeder kit like this. I mean, you can do it without this. You just need a hose and pretty much a cup, but this was only 10 bucks and it's just, you know, nice because it, it's got a magnet and, and everything. So it's definitely worth it for $10 in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, so let's get to it and uh, let's take that out. You can see there, you're gonna hold that cap shut like that until, um, you know, you're done with the clutch delay valve delete or you can buy some caps at the auto store but that's about it. Now for this, you're gonna have to essentially take this clip out as far as these are. To do that, you wanna maybe push on both these. Um, I just use two flathead screwdrivers or, uh, to push those in for, so for this to pop out a little bit. And once this pop out, I just put a flathead under there and pop it out and then take this top portion and pop it that way. So let's do that real quick. Take this clip out, um, it's gonna fly out. So just make sure you put something in front of it. Um, and then this portion just kind of pops out there. And if you can see in there, that little part is the clutch delay valve. So you're gonna put it in something. So you're gonna put something in there and kind of flick it upwards to come out of here, I think, or from the side, just try to get that little guy out with like a long screwdriver or something like that. So let's do that real quick. So all I did is I put a screwdriver through the one end and pushed it out the other end. Here it is, the culprit. We're gonna take this guy out and we're done. Now we just gotta put this back together and put it back in the car. So just put this back um, in, you know, this way. Um, then put the clip back in and put this back in the car. And then we're gonna work, um, we're just gonna make sure there's no air in our clutch line. So let's get to that. Now that that, that is back in there, we're gonna put in our uh, one man bleeder kit um, and plug that in. And then we're gonna start by filling, I think that's the reservoir there um, to the max. Hey guys, so at this point, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want someone inside the car ready to pump the clutch. And what they're gonna do is while this item in the circle here is completely closed, what they're gonna do is they're gonna start pumping slowly 
um, the clutch up and down for about 10 to 20 pumps slowly and what they're going to do is at the end they're going to hold their foot down with the clutch down and you're going to open this item here in the circle about an eighth of a turn and liquid should start flowing through the tube what we want to do is we want to watch for no bubbles we do not want bubbles in the tube so um when they are on the last pump they hold their foot down you open it an eighth of a turn while they still hold their foot down and then what you do is watch for the bubbles you close it again and then you let them know to let their foot off at that point and then what that what that's going to do is the clutch pedal is going to be sticking down to the ground they're going to have to pull it up with their hand or foot and then while this item in the circle is closed they're going to have to start pumping again and then again repeat this process over and over until you see no more bubbles in the tube Hey guys, if you liked the video again, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share to join the Couch Gang, and I'll catch you guys later.